into our seats. Good afternoon, faculty, staff, family, friends, and the class of 2022. Welcome to the USC Suzanne Dorsch Peck School of Social Work commencement ceremony. Buenas tardes, profesores, personal, familia, amigos y la clase de 2022. Bienvenidos a la ceremonia de graduación de la Escuela de Trabajo Social Susan Dvorak Peck de la USC. USC Suzanne Dwarkbeck, Social Hizmetler Okulu Diploma Torani Nesh Holdanaz, and in Arabic. Ada il Hayya il Tadrisia wal Idaria, Ha ilti wa astikai al Aiza, Zumalai, Kharriji Fouj al Am al Fain with Nien Washreen, Umtum Masa'an, Urahibu Bikum Ajmal Tarheeb fi had al Haflet al Bahij, Haflet Taharuj, USC Suzanne Dwarkbeck. Kiora, Bulavinaka, Aloha, and Talofa. Ma lo le sarfua mawa ile mamalu o faya onga porfesa, vale alfuenga luenga, a inga pele, o wo mamai. I may say, leva singa fa yuaso le ne chao sanga, lua afe, lua se full lua. Maliu mai, matala mai ao ile lau mua, ole USC, Suzanne Dvorak Peck, ona ole fa uunga fa sino, ile a onga o nga luenga anga fe so otai. Sin chao bui jio, kak nyang ming, Yadin Bang Bay Ba Hok Lok Lok Hok Nam Hai Le Ham Hai Chao Mung Bang Den Le Phat Bang Tốt Nghiệp Ở Trường USC Suzanne Dvorak Peck School of Social Work Satikar Yog, staff de Sari Membra, faculty Parivar de Membra, the 2022 the Jumat Nu Fiar Bari Satriaka. Me Twada Samjaik the Social Work School, Suzanne Devorek Peck School, the Samjaik Gum the Samaro Vich Savagat Gardiha. Magandang hapon sa lahat ng mga guro, empleyado, pamilya, mga kaibigan, at sa klase ng ikadalawang libo at dalwampot dalawang taon, maligayang seremonya ng pagsisimula ng USC Susan Dvorak Peck paaralan ng gawaing panlipunan. Associate Professor Bob Brooks, who will deliver the land acknowledgement. The Suzanne Dvorak Peck School of Social Work, the University of Southern California, acknowledges our presence on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Gabrielina Tungva peoples. We recognize that these peoples were forcibly removed from their homelands. We take this opportunity to acknowledge the generations that have gone before, as well as the present-day Gabrielina Tungva people. 
with humility, we recognize and respect all indigenous peoples, their histories, and their ties to the land. We also recognize the Chumash, Tataviam, Serrano, Kawia, Juaneño, and Luiseno people for the land that USC occupies around Southern California. We pay respects to their past and present. Let this acknowledgement serve as an ongoing reminder of the original inhabitants where you reside. Thank you. Please welcome the Dean of the USC Suzanne Dvorak Peck School of Social Work, Sarah Gelher. Good afternoon. A very warm afternoon. I want to welcome our 2022 Master of Social Work and Master of Science in Nursing graduates, their families, and significant others to this day of celebration. It really is a day of celebration, and the band helped to get us started. Um, I also want to recognize and congratulate our graduates across the country who couldn't be here in person, but are with us virtually. We can, I'm not sure where the cameras are, but we can wave. Um, we're honored to have Provost Charles Zukowski with us today, and we thank you for joining us on this special day for our school. You, the members of the class of 2022, hold a special place in my heart because you began your journey at USC the same year that I began my deanship. And that wasn't an easy year for any of us. Coming into leadership just as the school, the university, and the entire world were shutting down was challenging, to say the very least. I'm sure some of you felt much the same way as you faced beginning your degree program online. You likely had visions of studying on this beautiful campus. Some of you might even have considered not, considered not continuing at all because you suddenly faced caregiving for loved ones at home or stepping in as teachers for your children. It's not been easy for any of us to get to this day, but you did it. You persevered, and I'm very proud of you. So today is a day of celebration. Today you take the next step in your social work and nursing careers, going into a world that's changed since you first decided to become social workers and nurse practitioners. We've done our best to equip you for that new world. I calculated that together our 2022 social work and nursing graduated, graduates completed 593,620 hours of service to communities around the country through their field training. So we should clap for that. <laughs> this represents significant positive impact on those whom we serve. Through your empathy and dedication to serve, you'll be instrumental in helping communities become more resilient in future crises, thus be in better shape once the crises have subsided. In both good times and bad times, you must be the advocates that ensure the most vulnerable are treated with dignity and are afforded equality and justice. In short, you matter. You can make a tremendous difference. The world's changing, the profession of social work and nursing are changing, and our school must change to keep up. Social work and nursing must continue to evolve if we're to create the lasting change that's in the, that's the heart of our school's mission. It's no longer sufficient simply to identify problems, bemoan them, and move on to the next one. Those who we serve cannot afford for us to shake our heads, wring our hands, and wait until the next issue comes or injustice comes before us. Instead, we must use what we learn and be proactive. It's vital that we look upstream to devise ways to head off problems before they occur. While this represents an enormous change, an enormous charge, it's your charge. It's fundamental for you to raise to the rise to the occasion and take leadership within your professions. The writer James Baldwin once said, not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it's faced. I came to the School of Social Work at USC because of its rich history of research, practice, and teaching and I was impressed by its relationship with communities in Los Angeles. 
I be firmly believe in this school. I believe in the strength of our faculty and the collective ability to lead the way in charting social work education for the future. The school must evolve in tandem with change in the world as it is today and the increasing complexities that it presents to us. We must lead the way to align social work education with the world as it is today, with the highest standards of ethics, diversity, and practice, and we will do that. This celebration marks the next phase of your careers as you assume new responsibilities. As social workers and nurses who have some power over the lives of others, many of whom, or most of whom, have less power than you do. There always have been those with power and those without power in the United States. This isn't new at all. But we all must remember what it can be like when laws, policies, and practices are developed that raise people's quality of life and rights. Like the civil rights laws of the 1960s, marriage equality and gender recognition acts, and the best parts of the current child tax credit legislation. It's alarming that those legislative chances that improved the lives of so many people now seem to be in peril. Those basic rights are being challenged. They seem to be retreating. This is a time when we need our graduates to be out there working to restore and assure rights, to be working to develop and ensure the development of policies and, and maintenance of policies and practices that allow everyone to live and have control over the destinies that they have set for themselves. For all in the country to have access to safe housing and health care, for reproductive health to be determined by those whose bodies are affected. For all to be protected rather than harmed by law enforcement, for those who've committed and paid for crimes to be allowed to rebuild their lives. For those who've served in the military to obtain the services that they and their families deserve. We've done our best at the Suzanne Dvorak Peck School of Social Work to prepare you for the journey ahead to change the world. As you leave here today, graduates of the USC Suzanne Dvorak Peck School of Social Work, be vigilant and continue to challenge the status quo. While others may talk about problems, you have the skills to find solutions to those problems. Let us commit to making the 21st century the era in which we capture the complexity of social problems, those that disproportionately affect those whom we serve, and eradicate the issues that have plagued society for far too long. We can't afford to be complacent. I have tremendous faith that you'll be able to meet these present and future challenges head on. One thing I've learned about USC is that the Trojan family is real. Today you join 23,000 alumni of this school around the country and the world. This network of fellow Trojans is open to you. Through its many alumni resources, and these resources truly are unique to the school and the university, so reach out to the Trojan family when you want guidance, and they will be there for you. Today we celebrate your achievements, we're enormously proud of you, and we know that we'll witness, witness even more accomplishments over the next years as you go out in the world to do good work. It's now my great pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker, Dr. Dana Susskind. Dana is a professor of surgery and a professor of pediatrics at the University of Chicago. But she's atypical for a pediatric surgeon, or any type of surgeon. Instead of focusing entirely on medical treatment to improve human lives, she focuses on the social. Dr. Susskind is a thought leader and author on developing and testing parent-centered interventions to boost early learning. Her program is an example of how to address disproportionality in the social determinants of health. When I first met Dana in 2004, She'd been at the University of Chicago for two years and was providing services to children, especially cochlear implants, for children who couldn't hear. The University of Chicago hospitals provide care for many who live in vastly underserved neighborhoods, mainly on the south side of Chicago. Dana introduced herself to me because she saw stark differences between those children who received cochlear implants, whose families had good insurance, and those who either had Medicaid public insurance or no insurance at all. 
Families with better insurance coverage were afforded services for the child to help them adapt to suddenly being able to hear, suddenly being in a hearing world, and services for families to adapt and help their children to adapt. No such services were provided for children on Medicaid or without insurance at the time. Imagine these children suddenly being able to hear voices and sounds for the first time in their lives. It was overwhelming for them. Dana continues to be a very important voice for young children and their families, an important voice for all social workers and nurses to hear and bring to their work. Dana founded and served as co-director of the TMW Center for Early Learning and Public Health at the University of Chicago. She founded and leads the center with her spouse, economist John List. She continues to direct the pediatric learning loss and cochlear implant program there. She took what was a regular medical service and turned it into a humane service that, was mar that has markedly improved the lives of countless children and families. Her work also has what we call macro implications because she helps us to understand and address issues at both the individual and societal levels. She recently published a book called Parent Nation, which shows how the science of early childhood development should in fact be used to inform public policies and social norms on a broad scale. With John List, she also developed a line of research on threats to scalability. The work uses an economic model to address scale-up effects in public policy. As I said, she's not your stereotypical surgeon. It's now my distinct pleasure to welcome someone whom I admire very, very much. She makes the world a better place. So allow me to introduce Dr. Dana Susskind. Good afternoon. I really did try to bring the weather from Chicago. It didn't work, so for those of you all who are sweating, I apologize. It is my absolute pleasure to be here in front of you today to celebrate the incredible accomplishments of the Suzanne Dvorak Peck School of Social Work Class of 2022. Woo! As a physician, as a citizen of this country and as a human being, I am indebted to each of you for choosing the noble professions of social work and nursing. We gather today in recognition of your hard work, in joyful anticipation of all that you will accomplish on your journey ahead, and with the knowledge that we need committed social workers and nurses, nurse practitioners more than ever today. We find ourselves, as many of us before, at a pivotal juncture in our history, at a crossroads with profound and long-lasting consequences for our society. Our nation and our world are attempting to build back from a life-shattering pandemic, one that seems to have deepened the fault lines running through our society. At the same time, we face economic uncertainty existential threats to democracy and to freedom, and the consequences of unprocessed grief on an almost unimaginable scale. It can feel as if we've been pushed to the brink, that the window of opportunity to make change and make life better in our communities may soon slam shut. But I am here to tell you today that you are the ones we've been waiting for. At comparable moments in history, social workers have been the change agents at the heart of sweeping positive transformation in our society and our country. They led the charge in helping us emerge more whole and more just. And today, Americans enjoy many of the privileges because of those who came before you, who saw miseries and injustices, and took action, inspiring a those along the way. Many of the benefits that we take for granted came about because of you, social workers, working with families and institutions who spoke out against abuse and neglect. Consider Jane Addams, who lived in another era of great uncertainty, a period of rapid industrialization that left many impoverished and suffering. She responded by creating the Hull House in my hometown of Chicago, which served the community in innumerable ways. 
But she didn't just stop there. She's fought for women's suffrage, helped found the NAACP and ACLU, advocated against lynching, and helped inspire new laws and government agencies that dramatically improved public health. She is, of course, a legendary social worker, and, that, and one that perfectly embodies a characteristic of social work that I most admire, pragmatism. After all, you're not called social dreamers. You're called social workers. You don't just dream of a better world, you build one. Look, at this point, you'd be forgiven for wondering why I'm the one up here. Why does it even matter what I admire so much about social work? Why would Dean Geller ask a surgeon to be up here in the first place? I'll admit I asked my question, that question to myself as well. I wondered if I was the right person. Frankly, if I had any right to be up here. But I was so incredibly honored by the opportunity to speak with each and every one of you all. I knew I had to say yes. So I began to think about what I could share from my decades of medical practice and research that would hold a modicum of wisdom relevant for you all. And it struck me that at the heart of social work, at the heart of surgery and social work and nursing lies one of the most powerful forces in our world, constructive problem solving. After all, when on-call doctors failed to show up at the Hull House, what did Jane Addams do? Now this was, remember, a, a hundred years before nurse practitioners were, came around or she would have certainly called some of you all. No, Jane Addams simply stepped in. She saw a problem and she fixed it. And if you'll permit me, I'd like to tell you the story about another social worker who also excelled at problem solving. In 1968, Leslie LeWinter was a social worker who worked full-time directing a community outreach program in Baltimore that was part of the Lyndon Johnson War on Poverty. On April 5th of that year, just a day after Martin Luther King was assassinated, the mayor of Baltimore called an emergency meeting with community leaders and organizers like Leslie. He challenged the attendees to think about the best solutions to support the grief-stricken grief -stricken citizens of Baltimore during this tumultuous time. On her way home that evening, Leslie saw swaths of the city enveloped in flames. She was frightened, but she was also, fr she was also frustrated and heartbroken. She recognized a piercing truth. While she was able to drive safely home to her relatively affluent neighborhood, the people who lived in that neighborhood she served, her colleagues who lived there too, could not. Their neighborhood was going up in smoke. After an anxious dinner with her husband, Leslie went to bed and went into labor. She went on to give birth while fires and riots, expressions of rage, grief, and frustration continued to shake the city she loved. Just two weeks later, determined to help in the aftermath, Leslie returned to work. Now remember, keep in mind, this was 1968, when parents in this country didn't have easy access to high-quality childcare, guaranteed paid leave, and other family-friendly policies parents enjoy today. Oh wait, we still don't have them yet. <laughs> but back to the story. On her first day back, Leslie cleared out a closet near the office and made it a nursery. She then hired a young man to sit outside the room so that when her daughter cried, he could alert her. Leslie would feed and rock the baby and then get right back to work. There was much work to be done. I think Leslie's story, though unconventional, perfectly illustrates the commitment, dedication, creativity, and tenacity of social workers. I was lucky enough to benefit from all those qualities myself, because if you haven't figured out by now, I was that baby born on that fateful weekend in 1968. <laughs> See what you can produce? No pun intended. My whole life, I have witnessed firsthand the countless ways my mother strived to serve others, 
to make the world a more just and welcoming place for all. And like all social workers, she insisted on inspiring all those around her to do the same. So every night, as she would tuck me into bed, she would whisper in my ear, how are you going to change the world? Admittedly, I didn't always uh, appreciate when my mother would ask me this. It felt like a burden. Why was it my responsibility to change the world? Nevertheless, the nightly query helped me to recognize the need to anchor my life in a purpose greater than myself and reminded me to see the beauty and potential of humanity. Every one of us can help change the world. And you will. You have already chosen well. You have amazing professions and a life of purpose. Yet even that very strong foundation won't always be enough to propel you forward. Which brings me back to why a surgeon is standing here before you today. A surgeon recognizes that each successful operation requires specific and appropriate tools. So I'm here to suggest three tools that will propel you to success in your own operations. Three instruments that you must carry always a North Star, courage, and optimism. Frederick Douglass once wrote, of all the stars in this brave overhanging sky, the North Star is our choice. Dark clouds may conceal, but cannot destroy it. Tempests may toss the sea, earthquakes convulse the globe, and storm bolts shake the sky. It stands firm as heaven. Dark clouds may conceal, but cannot destroy it. That, that too must be true of your North Star, your choice, your firm and constant guide. Now, I can't tell you what your North Star should be. It truly is your choice. But I urge you all to make that choice now, at this exciting moment in time when you have so much of your life and career ahead of you because undoubtedly, over the years, you will veer off course, you will question yourself, you will make mistakes. But if you follow your own North Star, it will ultimately lead you in the right direction. To be clear, following your North Star doesn't mean you stick to a narrow path, never. Quite the contrary, your life's journey can and should be far-reaching. There is no such thing as outside your lane. Clearly, Jane Addams followed a path with many twists, turns, and adventures. My mother did the same. Although they wandered in unexpected directions, they were never, ever lost. My own North Star is my desire to see children thrive, all children thrive. Following the North Star brought me in unexpected places. It brought me here to you today. My decision to become a cochlear implant surgeon was guided by that North Star. But I can tell you with certainty that when I started out, I never thought I would be doing what I'm doing now. Working as a social scientist, an author, and dare say, social activist. But in each of these roles, I'm guided by the desire to see all children thrive. It is why I run a research program that translates the latest brain science into tools and strategies that support parents, organizations, and communities. It is why I write books and give talks and launch public campaigns around the urgent need to better support parents in this country. It is why I wake up every day. It would have been easy to see my view, my role narrowly to follow a flat and traditional path towards a traditionally successful career in surgery. And at times, I did. And it was at those times that I found myself most off course, thinking that the next academic publication or extra surgical case or big promotion was the end goal. I learned that even the best compass, even the moral compass, can lead you off course. The North Star, on the other hand, is fixed in the night sky. It will never lead you astray. So what is your North Star? Don't shy away from lofty, intimidating goals. Often those are the brightest and the best. Of course, though, the betterment of humanity is no easy feat. Which brings me to your next tool, courage. Times of trouble are when we need to be most bold. 
And today, we need bold and innovative ideas to seemingly intractable issues that threaten us. We need the ones who dream of a better world and then go out and make it happen. We need you. Of course, exercising courage, as many of you all know, is easier said than done. I wish that I could tell you that you're entering an easy moment in time, but you already know this not to be true. And while your North Star may shine brightly, your journey at times will be fraught. This is when you must hold most tightly, though, to your courage of your convictions. When I'm feeling unsure, when my courage begins to waver, I have a trick for fortifying myself. I close my eyes, and I picture all the people I'm fighting alongside, the people I'm working with, and the people I'm working in service of. It truly eases my fear to remind myself that I'm not alone. And more importantly, that whatever scary thing looms in front of me is not actually about me. It's about all those people that I picture, and for them, I can be brave. I urge you all to always remember that this vitally important work that you are going to do does not rest on your shoulders alone. Nothing of substance is accomplished by one human. So allow yourself to find strength and courage from those around you. And finally, speaking of strength, there is no stronger tool than optimism. Please embrace and wield joy every chance you have by choosing a career in social work and nursing, you have already demonstrated great optimism. Optimism that change is possible, that the intractable is not inevitable. And yet, at times, you will, you will risk losing hope, feeling despair. We all do. But I have found that in moments of pain, it is when I'm struck most by the beauty around me. In 2012, my world was shattered when my husband, Don, drowned, rescuing two boys from Lake Michigan. A beloved pediatric surgeon, Don died as he lived, in service of others. I like to say that at that moment, in the painful days, weeks, and months that followed, I lost my faith in serendipity, but I gained my faith in humanity. My children and I were enveloped in the love and support of our community. They got us through. They reintroduced joy into our lives and reminded us of its incredible power. So even when it seems like all hope is lost, I hope you will give yourself permission to find beauty and feel joy. The truth is, most people in this world are wonderful. Surround yourself with that wonder. Avoid expending time and energy on things that steal your joy or make you feel guilty for having it. Find people in your personal and your professional lives, inside and outside your lane, to, re to forge radical collaborations with. And that, to answer my mother's timeless question, is how you will change the world. And I know you will. You have chosen a path of service, optimism, and humanity. You are following in the footsteps of Jane Addams, Dean Gellert, everyone up here, Leslie LeWinter, Darlene Bailey, Frances Perkins, Edith Abbott, my friend Yoli Flores, and other giants of history. And now you are equipped with the tools of a surgeon. I hope you relish in this very, the joy of this special day. Your path here, particularly over these last two years, has not been an easy one. The certitude that helped carry you through, though, with your studies will serve you well in the years and adventures to come. And never forget, you are the ones we've been waiting for. So go forth, change the world and the future. And of course, congratulations. It is my great honor to welcome the class of 2022 Master of Science in Nursing graduates to receive their diplomas.
Emily Massey. Lauren Povoli. Janet Kim Wong. Tamara Torres. Jacqueline Vargas. Heather Crane. Victoria Corbin. Brianna Jones Estrada. Maria Petty. <laughs> Sally Kang. Mariel Tavares. Sabrina Solomon Batez. Katrina Chambers. Wen Ni Yin. Sabrina Aguirre Tamaris. Karen Gradardo Ortiz. Christine Mendez Aguayo. Robin Ayala. Gina Green. Anna Hizon. Nelly Figueroa. Fong Win. Jean Yao. Selena Lamont. Nicole Eggold. <laughs> Stephanie Arango. Shanice Lee. Katrina Torres Henderson. Jenny Nguyen Clark. Alisa Yancey. Catherine Z. Yu Chiang. Angelina Chung.
Teresa Powell. Tessa Rawson Niles. Sanchi Tam. Pei Sean Tan. Veronica Alexandra Hernandez. Victoria Gelk. Diana Sanchez. Jessica Hernandez. Amy Santoya. Train Christie. Nina Wynn Pham. Veronica Zoletta. Monica Hobson. Kimberly Sherid. Robin Quinn. Leonardo Mariano. Jacob Spruill. Teresa Quintanilla. Nicole Toral. Ray Will Brinkley Pruna. Hannah Lee. Antoinette Castaneda. Manuel Moran. Jasmine Santiago. Jessica Chan. Shonda Wilkinson Lafitte. Autumn Tran. Delphina Harvey. Tejal Bot. Como Carr. Now please welcome the chair of the Master of Science in Nursing program, Michelle Zappas.
Will the Masters of Science in Nursing students please, or graduates, please stand for the Nurse Practitioner Oath. It's located in the back of the graduation kit. Please repeat after me. As a nurse dedicated to providing the highest quality care and services, I solemnly pledge that I will The welfare of humanity and relief of suffering my primary concern. Act in a compassionate and trustworthy manner in all aspects of my care. Apply my knowledge, experience, and skills to the best of my ability to assure optimal outcomes for my patients. Exercise sound professional judgment while abiding by legal and ethical requirements. Accept the lifelong ob obligation to improve my professional knowledge and competence. Promote, advocate for, and strive to protect the health, safety, and rights of the patient. With this pledge, I accept the duties and responsibilities that embody the nursing profession. I take this oath voluntarily with the full realization of the responsibility with which I am entrusted by the public. Congratulations. It is my honor to welcome the class of 2022 Master's Social Work graduates to receive their diplomas. Terry Martinez. Amy Yang Lu. Carrie Lu. Emma Irvin. Evelyn Sanabria. Michael Ha. Joseph Shiri Ini. Marissa Oram. Sherelle Mohano. Gloria Aldridge. Raven Neal. Jessica Torres. Leslie Rivera. Gloria Huaying Chan.
Charlene Hetch. Shante Dixon. Christian Troxler. Teresa Ann Mays. Lexis Michelle Lee Mayte. Jennifer Abraham. Cable Kalsa. Jordan Glanzer. Alexis Lopez. Mariah Martinez. Marina Perlman. Diana Martinez. Claudia Ramirez. Juliana Ha. I need you guys to scoot back for me, please. We're gonna have graduates Sarah here in a Sarah Johnston. Minute. Stephanie Perez. Kellyanne Miranda Green. Thelma Martinez. Allison Gray. Joshua Landsberg. Yared Martinez. Priscilla Lopez. Janelle Vega. Micah Dwan Smith. Cesar Jimenez Jr. Fabian Alvarez. Jana Jamorban. Tiffany Rollerson. Juliana Sanabria. Natalie Gonzalez Lopez. Emmy Morales Flores. Jaslyn Polato. Michelle Contreras. Jasmine Rubio. Nicholas Ruiz. Yascara Robledo. Brianna Barba. Lauren Kennedy. Ulisa Bukat. Tiffany Hong. Lindsay Anderson. V. Mai. Tiffany Resendiz. Dana, Dana Baca. Alexandria Holy.
Lauren Armistead. Destiny Jackson. Lauren Scudlow. Gianna Sage. Kareen Amador. Stephanie Astudillo. Melody Jacob. Luz Vasquez. Madison Blair. Vivian Urena Stevens. Tatiana Santi Bañez. Yesenia Medina. Angela Michelle Tovar. Jacqueline Stephanie Uratia. Aketzali Morales. Silvia Lemus. Jesse Papais. Jordan Ray. Angie Oso Sanchez. Johan Long. Maya Lenise Hill. Darlene Kaur Ahuja, aka Girl. Monisha Woodard. Bianca Smith. Manya Frazier. Aija Kamara. Rosa Linda Bautista. Sheila Camarena. Johanna Chavez. Rosalind Montellano. Daniel Gilmore. Cecilia Fernandez. Rachel Ann Rivera. Sylvia Perez. Somia Murphy. Myra Waters. Rosa Iliana Gutierrez Valdivia. Melanie Nicole Raquel.
Brooklyn Rosario Mangaña. Guadalupe Mejia Sarabia. Marion Lima. Stephanie Isabella Lima. Linda Costry. Jo Josiel Ariola Dick Depcon Agojo. Maxwell Richard Caderna. Sarah Miriam Hayde Moody. Yvonne Michelle Tinajero. Ki Soon. Amelia Gallego. Isel Zamurio. Pauline Manano Manalo. Yaritza Herrera Renteria. Annika Lynn Renkin. Jana Elaine Valdez. Caitlin Rose Santos. Autumn Fiore. Jacqueline Isrick. Derricka Tori Hewitt. Jimmy Beach. Jennifer Taylor Sanchez. Suzanne Kekatrian. Adina Kim. Danielle Smoka. Joshua Gonzalez. Carolyn Reeder. Allison Miranda, or Morand. Morand. Thank you, Allison. Heather Paxson. Heather Paxson. Brianni Andrade. Lanisha Washington. Obi Awagboy. Maria Adelada Vasquez. Naomi Grant. Go, go, go. 
Emma Kate Lahani. Dominique Nakagi. Crystal Kim. Yelena William. Candy Inige. Garen Avarenga. Rosa Hernandez. Steven Fresca. Amanda Pavan. Ashley Lujan. Daniela Garcia. Lauren Peters. Avis Stevenson. Daniel Nicole Viveros. Megan Mangavat Fio. Richard Van Pelt. Amanda Perez. Katie Barkley Stone. Beverly Wertheimer. Marlene Alexis Pineda. Moselle, Moselle Brown. Zach Zikra. Yes! Monica Mana Winter Suarez. Joanne Mallory. Adriana Cantero. Joanna Gamara. Janine Abdelmuti. Mirna Cornejo. Caterina Vidania. Jennifer Casares. Julie Correa. Maralicia Gonzalez. Sergio Manso. Paige Ceylon. Yvonne.
Julie Gold Emmy. Claire Fuller. Francisco Soto. Natalie Eighty. Catherine Richard. Kiana Rogers. Kayla Mason. Michael Broughton. Kaylin Parker. Mallory Bond. Dejanay Graham. Acacia Garcia. Dima Alomar. Donna Marie Reyes Rubio. Annabelle Linden. Desiree Cecilia Catherell. Emily Ann Solano. Angel Richard Williams. Josie Walsh. Erica Moon. Charlie Preeti. Chelsea Leanne Lynch. Lindsay Burnett. Dario Grant. Chimu Abese. Alzina Henry. Diana Lugo. Jennifer Iskander. Sunitra Kamisi. Marquisha P. Hardin. Shayna Santos Calacat. Blanca Tinoco Rodriguez. Crystal Gutierrez. Cindy Henriquez. Nija Victoria Warner. Balasad Kamen. Natalie Bashian. Emily Upland. 
Emily Louise Paula Walters. Brandon Malone. Aylin Noel Aubrey. Ellen Triu. Rocio Harris Hernandez. Jennifer Elizabeth Alvarez. Yasmeen Williams. Tequila Allen Cortez. Kayla Dumas. Antriel Wilts. Raquel Saucedo Ochoa. Joanna Marie Rubio. Oscar Grusi. Malafog Sunjiao Jr. Jessica Brienne Rogers. April Brasadia Rosas. Yesenia Torresilla Medina. Benjamin Valdez. Jessica Ray Armendariz. Gabriel Mesa. Hilda Coronel. Frank James Soria. Romina Modari. Crystal Farah. Bertha Renata Lopez. Natalie Sansur. Matthew Aldrete. Nagoi Eki. Leo Torinos. Victoria Bunsin. Christina Coyle. Christina Leua. Brittany Yvette Jones Black. Ruben Munoz. Charles McPhail Jr. Tiffany Christine Gomez. Keisha Lemire. Matthew Roberts. Crystal Draper. Catherine, Catherine Tokes. Tolts. Jennifer Weck. Corrine Gotch. Sarah Jean Andari. Kayla Gard. 
Rachel, Rachel DeVorman. Demi Fitzpatrick. Steven Estrada. Naspa Kublawi. Kelly Albrecht. Juliet Verzi Timmins. Natalie Gorne. Gorne. Nicole Chura. Jenna Levy. Valia Hermosillo. Kathleen Ann Serdana. Sochin Grace. Gloria Medina. Jessica Goodkin. Andrea Diaz. Carol Elizabeth Mejia. Myra, Myra Alejandra Ramirez. Razdeep Kar. Isaac Guadalupe Lopez Ruelas. Teresa Rosario Stevenson. Aaron Z. Rosny. Jima Mendoza de Peria. Alvin Fong. Naomi Figuerera. Julia Kerr. Charlene Romero. Michaela Hurd. Tiffany Parks. Sharon Aguirre. Trent Bay. Ashley Martinez Munoz Chum. Sunjay Guy. Jaying Yang. Maria Calderon. Megan Christoph. Michael Zink. Daisy Orduño. Jessica Alejandra Gill. Marisol Martinez. Brian Meyer. Estelia Velasquez. Rebecca Molina. Angela Calella. Siamara Castellanos. Maria Trinidad Nambo. Maribel Canaceres. Nancy Martinez Colindarit. Daniela Pinedo.
Rachel Kubler. Rebecca Hall. Catalia Duong. Miriam Freeman. Alexi Silva. Areli Uoa. Paige Pereira. Mache Martin. Megan Ardell and Tall. Marlette Ulor. Sandra Pumil. Jillian Coplin. Carol Echaveri. Caterina Gomez. Christina Monroy. Maria Hernandez. Arelis Navarro. Nidia Sala Nida Salahuddin. Lillian Ramirez. Lisette Alejandra Velasquez. James Whitmer. Molly Witten. Lindsay Markley. Sullivan, Erica Arenas, Maricela Calvillo Pelayo, Alia Lomeli, Karina Chavez. Geraldine Johnson Ortiz. Muriel Lopez. Alexi De Paz. Lawrence Casuga. Cynthia Flores. Regina Chen. Tammy Wong. Acacia Bernal. Janet Lopez. Elizabeth Liza Oganasia. Mariana Tom. Gabs Lee. Jasmine Joyce Quintana. Jacqueline Rocio Sandoval. Carolyn Vieira. Courtney Howe.
Kathy Vu. Majori Ellen Tudor. Marina Kilani Adriano. Lauren Rose Jungrasso. Casey Hervey. Jacqueline Vargas. Kimberly Wynn. Andrew Luhar. There you go. Miranda Marie Hidalgo. Jean Therese Lau. Cassandra Lamoureux. Paxson Baltasar Calacciola Chang. Belinda Reese. Allison Suboil. Dion Denharo. Kevin Ogultree. Alma Delia Ocampo. Natalie Castellanos. Gianna Luis Carosa. Staff Sergeant Donald Lewis Stiles. Jasmine Lytol. Jeanette Rodriguez. Sarai Arana. Donnie Campbell. Loretta Wardis, Clinton William Watson, Simon Lopez, Elika Dotson Foley. Ina Hunkin Claytor. Alexandria Ellis. Elizabeth Palomares Michael. Jacob Silver Markovitz. Melissa Domeyer. <laughs> Alyssa Grossin. Lucina 
Guadalupe Contreras de Lopez. Elena Mikey. Ella Kastecker. Heidi Gabriela Barrera. Gare Torres. Rosa Elia Ulon. Beatrice Lee. Sarah Amber McKenzie. Christina Critterton. John Marco Ferry. Nicole Sanseri. Clancy Cornell. Grace Slifkin. Wine hole. <laughs> Elizabeth Small. <laughs> Rachel Faith Silton. <laughs> Thomas Hunter Siggins. <laughs> Catherine Feller. Lisa Miller. Rebecca Cohn. Aubrey Farabee. Evangelia Diplas. Andrew McCullum Smith. Erica Torres Ness. Emma Little. Victoria. Victoria Raylene Morano. Charlie Lewis. Cat Eagle Steven. Gabriel Sen. Benjamin Matt. William A. Abel Kitana. Ramirez Victoria Santana Veronica Santana and Vanessa Rose Santana <laughs> Kennedy Du Bois Melissa Sandoval. Jawin Chu.
Estefanie Montenegro. Nancy Castaneda Cortez. Amberlynn Sierra. Megan Bertrand. Britt Flores. Anaí Babanco. Sarah Oberhauser. Clara Palma. Mario Castello. Nancy Viegas. Marisol Valencia Mantoya. Brenda Stephanie Gonzalez. Vanessa Liliana Rosa Flores. Laura Isabel Para Hernandez. Gotcha. Prince Charming. Robert Bohan. Lydia Garcia. Stephanie Marie Jones. Destiny Stewart. Mane Bahan, Bahanya. Carrie Lee Lawrence. Miguel Antonio Claros Jr. Brianna Kimberly Herrera. Jennifer Trin. Clara Mireya Marquez. Omar Guzman. Denise Macias. Edith Parker. Azar Ali. Julissa Rodriguez. Cynthia Ramos. Kelly Wu. Ruby Cazares. Ashley Chacon. Raquel Guerra. Mariel Sarmiento. Sarah Kim. Stephanie Jimenez Ballestero. Kaylin O'Brien. Liliana Ochella. Vanessa Nguyen. Marlene Ramos Santiago. Ashley Diane 
Rodriguez. Jacob Pete Diaz. Vanessa Victoria Yepes. Allison Bergman. Manuel Luna Jr. Jason Herr. Liza Sapersky. Naomi Gwynn. Marco Garcia Jimenez. Irvin Kinomez. Jimmy Panetta. Jennifer Michelle Gonzalez. Carrie DeGruff. Nadia Udine. Shakia Jose. Tamika Adebayo. Cindy Castillon. Dia Shivani DeRusso. Alexandra Jolene Mendina. Tanisha Robles Henderson. Tanisha Tine Robles Henderson. Bakisha Sterling. Alexa Kukana Castro Siegel. Noel Sassad. Corelli Montonia. Jesse Rublakaba. Al Andrew Alexander Gutierrez. Abirami Mune Boon. Boonin, yes. Muna Benyon, thank you. Esus Alvron. Imani Ward. Maureen Guyalin. Ashley Michelle Nunez. Michaela Zabaya. Yesenia Mendez. Basam Abusam. Basam Abusam. Basam Basam Abusam. Thank you. <laughs> Logan Williams. Melchizedek Robinson. <laughs> Yvette Anaceli Solano. Destiny Janine Marupo. Savannah Eklund. How are you? Carissa Dante Sullivan. 
Travis McKell. Corey Rido. Ricardo Romero. Nicholas Jones. Sarah Hassan. Emily Ott. Iyana Klista. Ariana Newenkirk. Damon Ayala. Carolina Cricket Chavez. Ashley Marie Lynch. Suzelle Luviano. Linnea Solomon. Nancy Grespo. Jason Valdovinos. Nicholas Ham. Matthew James Harold. Joel Perez Jr. Maura Clark. Alyssa Garcia Noriega. Abigail Jaime. Hazel Boras. Celeste Covarrubias Macias. Van Burton. Jessica Giorin. Reiki E. Melissa Gomez. Helen Yoon Jin Su. Melissa Tobias. Dana Profete. Please welcome the chair of the Master of Social Work program, June Wiley. Will the Master of Social Work graduates please stand for the Social Work Oath? It is located in the back of your graduation book. Please repeat after me. I do affirm that as a professional social worker, I will help, I will work to help all people in need. I will work to reduce the social problems of our society. I will challenge injustice, particularly to vulnerable and oppressed individuals. I will respect the inherent dignity and worth of every person. I will work to enhance the well-being of individuals, groups, families, organizations, and communities. I will strive to increase my professional knowledge and skill and to advance the knowledge base of the profession. I shall conduct myself in a professional and ethical manner and abide by the profession's code of ethics as established 
by the National Association of Social Workers. Congratulations, graduates. Please welcome back. Please welcome back to the podium. Okay. I'm thrilled to recognize two graduates and one faculty member today for their outstanding accomplishments on behalf of the school and the social work profession as recipients of the Dean's Recognition Awards. They were chosen from an impressive field of students and faculty. Each year, the USC Suzanne Dvorak Peck School of Social Work honors students who've made significant achievements in their academic careers and who also have made contributions to the community. Faculty members nominate student award recipients and the graduating class of students nominates and selects a faculty member who will receive the Jane Addams Award. We take this very seriously. So without further ado, I'll recognize the recipients of the 2022 Recognition Awards who are here with me on stage. The Gladys Salad Award of Merit recognizes a graduating student who demonstrates outstanding potential to contribute to the profession of social work. This award honors the professional life of distinguished alumna Gladys Salad and her commitment to her clients, our school, and the social work profession. Nominated by Assistant Professor John Blosnich, and Clinical Associate Professor Sarah Schwartz. Please join me in congratulating our 2022 recipient of the Gladys M. Salad Award, Jordan Flanzer. So, let's give her one more round of applause. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Jordan. The Lillian Hawthorne Endowed Award recognizes students who made significant and transformational contributions to the programs and policies of field agencies during their internships. This award honors alumna Lillian Hawthorne, who served as Assistant Dean for Student Affairs and was instrumental in expanding the School of Social Works Field Education Program, nominated by Clinical Associate Professor Holly Prebsotello, please join me in congratulating our 2022 recipient of the Lillian Hawthorne Endowed Award, Kaval Khalsa. Can I do it? Yeah. Yes. We really, thank you so much. We got lots and lots of So another round. And finally, the Jane Addams Award. This award is presented annually to a faculty member selected by the graduating class for their academic, administrative, and moral support of students. Mentorship by faculty is essential to student success, both in the classroom and as they go forth in their careers. It's truly high praise for one's skill as a teacher to be honored by the students. So please join me, class of 2022, in congratulating the professor who selected to receive the Jane Addams Award, Iris Gonzalez. Goodness gracious. And so this is also a time to recognize the tw class of 2022 graduating officers of the 2021-2022 student organization and thank them for their service and commitment to expanding the student experience. Please stand when I call your name and remain standing. Natalie Gonzalez Lopez, uh, Frank Soria, Juliana. Sanabria, Sanabria, I'm sorry. Kimberly Nguyen. Charlene Pesh. Eric Hugenroth. Madison Sidwell. Ricardo Romero. Lanette Perez. Let's clap for them. They make our school a better place. 
I'm extremely proud of all our class of 2022 graduates. You remain dedicated to pursuing your degree, persevered through unexpected circumstances, and are here today to celebrate your great achievement. I'm excited that, about what you're going to accomplish in the future. All graduates, now please turn your tassels from the left to the right, meaning that you have finished. I noticed that some of you are already problem solvers and your tassels were already on the right. So we're fine. <laughs> I present to you the class of 2022 for the USC Suzanne Dvorak Peck School of Social Work. Congratulations and serve on. Thank you.